Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Albert Potato, and this is Kursk. This is a simulation adventure game where you are uh, are on a sunken submarine. It is uh, it's based on real events, and I'm quite excited to uh, to jump on into it. All right, I did um, I did boot it up just to see if everything was working fine, and indeed it was. I haven't played any of the story. I don't know what's going to happen, so we're going to have to. Find out together. Сиди тут, пока учение не закончится. Right. Wasn't part of the plan. But we will not be able to come up with the idea of frisking you. For now. Uh, whatever. I think I'll be spending some time here. You better be looking around. Okay, cool. So it seems that we are in a cabin of some sort. Uh, shift is to run apparently. Whoa. There we go. Um, and we can click on different objects uh, by interacting with them. Ooh, I don't particularly want to read all of this, but if you feel so inclined, then you can then <laughs> you can go on and do it. There we go. Nastia. Okay, nice. There we go. She misses us, and uh, we we need to get back to her. Cool. All right. So we've got um, a bunk, a little sofa thing. This seems like pretty good quarters, honestly. Um, I remember reading somewhere that um, that Russian submarines were a lot more spacious than um, than American submarines. Can interact with this door. Let's see what we've got in here. This seems like a fairly irresponsible amount of junk to keep on a submarine. Yeah, let's. Uh, Let's have a look. Oh, we're gonna play it. Right. Now steer the ship Grand. Right. What is it? Like a Space Invaders type of game? The right one. Easy as pie. Oh. I guess this is the whole game. Oh. Not. Oh. Don't feel like I'm hugely good at this game. I haven't hit any ships yet. I probably don't think I will. Oh. Nope. They're always... Their, their torpedo thingies are... They're stopping me. Uh, don't think I did anything there. What was that? Okay, well... That might have been the submarine sinking there, buddy. Okay, doesn't look like we're able to get out of this door. They can't hear me. If I don't clog this grate, I'll suffocate. Is that the grate that he's talking about? Is that where the smoke's coming in? Okay, um let's interact with that. Fix something to the wall to block the smoke. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that. I could interact with the chair. No way. Don't understand what that means whatsoever. Perfect. Bit of cardboard? Sure. Hello? There we go. Sure. I somehow don't think that this would in actuality make a huge difference, as I suspect that the smoke might still find a way through. I mean, I just need to find a, way to open it. a door. Can I like jimmy the jimmy the door or something? Maybe with the chair. Seemingly not. Something in the cupboard, perhaps. Doesn't look like there's anything of value in the cupboard. No way that I can use these switches. That bottle looks eerily usable. 
but yet it's not. Sure, I can't pick up this chair. Is there nothing on the bed that I can use? Ah. Nope. Anything under the desk? I don't really... I don't really know. Is there... Is there literally any way out of here? Maybe I just die in this room. Or I could use the pipe. Okay. I do actually jimmy the door. Alright, that seems to have done it. I don't know what was stuck. Clearly can't have been something... Whoa. Uh, the door got stuck. I tried to force it, but it won't move. Come on, we'll try it together. There's no time to lose. He scared me. Blue my neck. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Come on, buddy. Whoa. Okay, well that plan didn't exactly work out as intended. No sweat there, buddy. We'll just take another crack at it, presumably. Moscow, 9th of August, year 2000, 9.26 a.m. Right, cool. I'm in Moscow. Floppy disks, man. So retro. What does that say? Can't even read that. Flash... Flash out three? Okay, cool. I guess. Can I use this briefcase thing? I don't really need to interact with that more than once. Whoa. TV remote? Anything good on uh, Russian television? The pride of our fleet. Okay, let's go and have a look. Telephone I saw over here. Indeed. What's going on? Um, she's currently taking a shower. Sure. Okay. Okay, all right, fine. Fine, okay, so. What on earth is this? So it looks like, okay, why on earth do I have to look at this cigarette tray? Of all of the things that I could interestingly interact with, that isn't one of them. Uh, so, so there's a safe somewhere, apparently. Presumably in one of these closets here. Let's interact with you. There we go. Looking good. Interact with that. How on earth were these things ever fashionable? I just don't know. Goodness me. It is a bit, um, it's a bit jittery, isn't it? Okay, delete to enter setup. I don't really want to do that. Butterfly.nt. User01, very secure username. A long password though, so I'm sure that makes up for it. What am I supposed to do here? Image file, I've got an image file here. Okay, there's a submarine, interesting. 
Um, there's a text file. Your task is to infiltrate the Kursk submarine and gather information about the Shkival supercalivating torpedoes. Okay, we are also interested in information about secret technologies being used aboard the ship. Your PDA provides personal mission control center, list of tasks, a uh, list of current tasks, notes, character descriptions, and more. It's regularly updated, blah, 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 blah. Crew won't suspect anything, so your cover should be fine. It's up to you whether they can guess your true identity. Try to leave no traces and avoid suspicion. One more thing, we're expecting spy submarines in the area. This could affect the plans of the Russian Navy in an unexpected way. Act reasonably and adjust the situation. Cool, thank you very much. At the end of the 1960s, the Russians didn't... Hold on a minute. This, this volume clearly isn't good enough. Uh, here we go. As a result, the torpedo is able to reach speeds of over 150 knots. Though according to our sources, the Russians already have a prototype capable of exceeding that. The torpedo uses a rocket engine, has short range and is loud, which makes it easily detectable. But it makes up for these faults with its fierce speed, which allows it to destroy an enemy using kinetic energy alone. Interesting. Thanks to this technology, Russia is ahead of the rest of the world by 20 years. Interesting. Okay, cool. Our informants claim that China is very interested in purchasing these cabals. This threatens the balance of power in the world, especially in the Pacific. The arrest of Edmund Pope, whom Russia has accused of spying for the CIA, has led us to realize that the era of buying intelligence through bribery is over. The largest maneuvers of the Northern Fleet since the fall of communism begin tomorrow. The nuclear submarine Kursk, the Russian Navy's crown jewel, will be taking part in the exercises. According to our sources, it will have new generation Skaval torpedoes on board. Our organization has developed a plan to get you on that vessel without raising suspicion. Due to the importance of these maneuvers, several people from outside have been delegated to be on board and observe the exercises from there. We've been able to get to one of these people, and so you'll assume their identity. This is a person not known by the rest, so no one should suspect a thing. Okay. Your task will be to earn the trust of the Kursk crew and get as much information about the secret technologies present on board as possible. The Skval torpedoes are the highest priority. They should be in the second compartment at the bow of the sub. Okay, I mean... There's, in order to make a nice little short informational video like that, I feel that a lot of people need to view this top secret confidential information. So I'm not convinced that making a, an informational video on, you know, a secret mission is the best course of action, but hey ho. Okay, and then that is that. Right, time to get going. I don't know what that map means. But let's go. You can now safely shut down your computer. What a horrendous font. All right, let's rock and roll. So that is the backstory. We are spying. We are, we are tasked with infiltrating uh, the submarine, and we are going to be assuming the identity of someone who is not known by the rest of the crew. Fine, I'm cool with that, and I'm excited. Vidyayevo, tenth of August, year two thousand. It's a rainy day. Немного потрясет. На наших дорогах асфальт плохо держится, Томпсон. А тут и подам. Эту дорогу сложно не ремонтировать. Так сделали пару захватов Карлсон, чтобы хотя бы Камазу не вставали поперек дорог. Так, осталось проехать этот КПП, и мы на месте. I love how the uh, the names of the developers are uh, are popping up. In the in the real world. Thank you. Oh, your walking was a little bit uh, monotonous there, buddy. У вас рейс из Нуквы был, да? Вез сегодня другого пассажира, работает в оборонке, только он из Дагестана. Загорелый, почти черный. А в Москве же сейчас тоже тепло, да? А здесь погода сами видите. 
хороший хозяин на улице собак не выгонит. В Москве, то я думаю, здесь можно. It's kind of nice just to sit back and enjoy the the ups and downs of a car conversation. We need to give away as little information as possible. Ask him questions. Haven't you thought about returning to sea? I'm glad about the maneuvers, but honestly, I've never been in a submarine. Haven't you thought about returning to the sea? Dangerous driving? Of course. Everyone should have Hamon, don't you think? Uh, oh, I've got to, but I change a lot. Me and my bird together for long, we'd die. Let's go with the first one. How does he know I've never lived on a ship? Did I say that in the conversation? I'm pretty sure I didn't. Have you ever been aboard the Kursk? The Kursk? Really leaves an impression. Supposedly it does. And I believe with that, the car journey is over. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Likewise, good luck with your plans. Got my bag, got my uh, spy equipment on board, and we're ready to hit the open seas. Oh. Yeah, sorry about that. It's a bit rainy, buddy, isn't it? Nice to meet you. How do I get on board? Cool. Right, where is this boat? Okay. Is it over there? Yeah, that's it over there. Perfect. Man, it looks huge. Um, I want to grab a survival kit. That is the mission. I also want to go up and have a look at the crane, see what's going on. I'll practice my running whilst I'm here. I feel like I shouldn't be running. It does perhaps alert some, uh, some suspicions. Yeah, let's take a look around. 
up, up we go. Um, All right, we can go back to Vasily. I can go back to Vasily, although I suspect I don't want to yet until I checked out the uh, the rest of the bits and bobs around the uh, around the truck. Okay, move you out the way. I'm not going to find a magical torpedo here, am I? Oh, here we go. What on earth? How do I do this? I mean... What am I supposed to do here? Uh, I've got a pin for a... don't quite understand the point of this. I get that it's supposed to be a lock-picking mechanism. I mean, what does it say in the controls? I feel that it hasn't really identified this. Uh, maybe an EQ... An EQ... Oh! Oh, I just hold space. Hold on, maybe reduce that a little bit. This is very peculiar. I mean, I still don't understand how this works. What, like, what is the point? Alright, I did it! Hey! Just tap space a couple of times. Ooh. What on earth is this? This is... Take picture? First secret. Great. That was an achievement, by the way, that I unlocked. Fun fact for you there. Alright. Let's get out of this truck. I have no idea what on earth that secret was supposed to be. All I know is that I want to be on board this submarine, and I still am not on board this submarine. Which to me is very disappointing. Because let's be real, the whole reason that I that I uh, that I'm interested in this game is because of the submarine. Run, 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 run. I'll interact with you. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Can finally take a breather. I've been carrying crates all night. I think I heard my back snap. Whoa, okay. Negativity, bro. Can I climb up these uh, this ladder? I think I'm going to. So that I can get a good look at this submarine. Because man oh man does this look good. Apparently one of the best things about this game is the fact that the submarine just looks absolutely phenomenal. And from what little I can see, it looks incredible. Blummin' heck, this is high. Whoa, that's, uh, that's some fall. Okay. Nice and gently. Nice and gently around here. Oh, there's a crane up there as well that I could have uh, that I could have gone to. When will someone finally take care of these emergency kits? So old and falling apart. I know they're tightening our belts. Great. Thank you very much. I presume that I cannot get up any higher than this. I don't think so. I can just walk around, and that's about that. Okay, well, cool. We we did that. We um we had a little walk around. I feel like I'm a lot. W what the heck is happening here? I don't feel like I'm on the stairs anymore. Yep, definitely not on the stairs anymore. Interesting climbing animation there, but no matter. We survived. Um, doesn't look like there's anything up this end. Um, I'll go and speak to this chap over here. He's probably got something to say about crates as well, I would imagine. You're out of smokes again. Uh, give me a second, I'll get some. Or can I just chat to him again and ask him what he would like me to do? Oh, that's one of those crates with uh, bits in. Okay, well, I think that that pretty much... 
I'm tired. I don't feel like talking. That is no way to, to talk to a superior officer. I like to talk to everyone just in case I can get some insider information. Fuse must have blown. That's fine. I don't care about a fuse. All I'm here for is the submarine. That is what fundamentally matters to me. I'm going to take this opportunity to get on board. Oh, look, they're all lining up. This looks pretty good. Anything to interact with over here? Nope. Um, however, I would love to have a look at this. This is... Okay, interesting, fine, looks good. Can I have a little wander up to the uh, to the end of the pontoon? This chap looks like he's going to impart some worldly knowledge onto me. It's a big submarine though, isn't it? Holy cow. Well, it was worldly knowledge. It was not of any significance to literally anyone. But you know what? I'm glad... I'm glad he decided to tell me. Fine. Okay, well, I think, you know... On that note, I think we're going to wrap up the first episode. I feel that this is probably going to be the start of the actual game. When we, uh, when we decide to get on board this submarine. And we're going to do that first thing in the next episode. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obra Potato. This has been Kursk. I'll see you next time. Bye.